Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo, and welcome back to a Minecraft update video. It's not more of an update, it's more of an in-depth showcase. Now today for you, I'm going to be going in great detail about the custom flatlands that should be coming, in fact are confirmed to be coming in the next big update. Now going back about a month and a half ago, Voice Shows confirmed this from a question from Archangel. He said, Will you guys ever add custom flat worlds to console? Question mark. And Voice Shows responded with this saying, Yes, we will. We are working on it at the moment. Now, this is like nearly two months ago now. I have no idea when the update is coming out, by the way, guys. Your guess is just as good as mine. But this is something I am really excited about because the current flatlands we do have are so boring. They are truly boring. So hopefully you will enjoy me going over the presets that should be introduced to console edition. So let's get into this. If you do enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button. And I will have a link to minecraft101.net forward slash super flat. And the reason why is because on Minecraft PC, you can create your own custom flatlands, which as you see here, I've got the weird and wonderful and the mineshaft madness, which I will be showing you towards the end of the video. So do stay tuned for the best part of this video. So if I go to create new world, I go to say creative, more options. We're gonna change it to super flat and in here, this is everything you're going to need to know about custom flatlands. Now, I don't know how it's going to work on console compared to PC. They do try and make it very similar, but this is just the default what we have already on Minecraft uh, console. We have one block, which is grass. We have two, which is dirt, and then we have bedrock, meaning that we can't really dig underneath or do much exploring. It's just basic, and I don't really think many people use custom flatlands as much on console as they do on PC. So these are the presets, guys. Now at the top, you can see a whole bunch of text and weird stuff. All you'll be like, what is this, Echo? Well, basically, if commands are introduced to Minecraft console edition, we will be able to do custom um, presets like you can on PC version. So this is all depending on if commands are introduced. Uh, however, as you can see here, it says alternative. alternatively, here's some we uh, made earlier. So we've got a whole range. I would imagine every single one of these will be introduced to Minecraft console. In fact, I'm pretty confident they will be. So the current one we already have, and the only one we have on Minecraft uh, console edition is the classic flat, which is, well, what I did show you before. Now, a lot of people want to see this one. This is Tunnelers Dream. So I'm going to go over not all of these, but some of them. Uh, the Tunnelers Dream is probably the most useful one, in my opinion. So if I go to use preset, you can see it's one grass block, five dirt, 230 stone. Whew. You're going to be mining for a long time, especially if you want to dig to the bottom of it. All right, so let's do this. Let's load this up. Uh, basically, what I would love for people to do with this one when it is introduced to Minecraft console is create like some kind of underground mini game. So basically the, all, the top world is always flat. Remember that because it is custom flatlands. However, this one goes down 230 blocks. We're not doing it. What I would love for someone to do is kind of like make a mousetrap mini game where you go down into a world. It's like a maze and you have to do some obstacles and then get past it. I think that'd be so much fun. There you go, guys. I've just give you all a little bit of an idea when they do introduce this on what you can do. I am using shaders, by the way. So hopefully it's not going to crash or anything like that. But hey, a lot of people do love this one. It goes past 64. Like, I don't think they'll make it on Minecraft console edition down to 240. To me, I would say they probably cap it at 200 maybe, or even 100, which I don't want them to. Um, I'd be sad if they did, because as you know, Minecraft console only has up to 64, which is a normal default, um, well, bottomless pit, should I say. So yeah, that's that's the first one I wanted to show you, was which was Tunnelers Dream. And let me know in the comment section which your favorite one is and what you're looking forward to. All right, so onwards and upwards to the next few. Let's go to creative, more options. Let's do the next one, which is a water well. Let's do the water well. Now, the reason why I want to show you this is because, as you can see here, it's 90 layers of water. That's just insane. We've got, obviously, some sand, dirt, stone, and other things as well. So let's do this. The reason why I want to show you this one, guys, is because... In the next big update, known as the update that changed the... Oh, look, look! We have we have the new Guardian Temple. All right, so in the, in the update that's known as the, the update that changed the world, which is what Minecraft console should be getting next. Let me grab some night vision real quick. Or, or in fact, um, yeah, let's just grab some night vision real quick. Let's see if it works. 
No, it didn't. All right, well, I thought I could have been able to see it a lot better. But anyway, um, the reason why I wanted to talk about this one is because in the next big update, for the third and final time trying this, we're going to be getting deep ocean biomes, which is where these do spawn. They only spawn in the deep ocean biomes, uh, meaning that we are one step closer to getting the new Guardian mob, which is going to be so much fun. I want to go down and explore it a little bit more. Um, but I really do enjoy the Guardian Temple. Uh, it's going to lag us when we, when we get there, so we're going to have to leave this world. But hey, it's just a great addition, the, the water world. So if you wanted to create like an underwater base or specifically do something on water, you can do it and not have to worry about any land or try and find a seed that is specifically just water. All right, so the next one we are going to be checking out is going to be the overworld. Well, the overworld we don't really need to check out because it is basically the normal overworld. It just has villages, it has grass, as, it, as you can see the symbol there. And it just has pretty much, basically, it's very similar to the classic flat, but just with grass. That's the only way I can explain it. All right, this one is something I do like. This one is awesome. Uh, now, what I wonder if I can change this one. Um, in fact, we're not going to. So, basically, if you ever wanted to create a snow-type Hunger Games, you can finally do it. And you don't have to worry about placing snow everywhere because, as far as the eye can see, it's just snow. It's snow, 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 snow. However, you can change the bottom block. I believe you can change this to, to a different block um, because, well, grass underneath it, eh, it's not the greatest, but if you wanted to start a preset with this one and just search for as long as you can see, then you can do this. It's just, I think it looks really good. I like this one a lot. It's possibly one of my favorite ones. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the, the snowy kingdom as I call it. Um, let's go into the next ones. I cannot wait to show you guys the custom presets that I have done. You guys are gonna love it, I promise. Um, so here we've got the bottomless pit, which I'm not too sure what it is. I'm actually generally not sure what the bottomless pit is. I'm guessing, is it just, is it just a bottomless pit? It's just, oh it is, alright, there we go. Okay, so this is a very interesting one, because on Minecraft console edition, in an older update, they, rem they removed the void, which is this one. So basically when you fall down, you die, I think. It should kill me, as you can see I'm dying. They removed this from Minecraft console edition. However, if they do introduce this preset, they're gonna have to reintroduce it back, which I think would be awesome. A lot of people will enjoy that. Um, so yeah, it's just a bottomless pit. It, there's no bedrock. That's the only way I can explain it. There is no bedrock on this one. So yeah, the bottomless pit, something a lot of people were excited about as well. All right, so I think the final one I'm gonna be checking out here is going to be the, um, which one I'm gonna check out last? The redstone ready. I'm not gonna do the desert because it is, as I explained, it's just a desert, that's it. The redstone ready, however, is sandstone and the reason why it's sandstone I'm going to show you is because sandstone is a good block to place I don't know a lot of people seem to do so if I grab some redstone stuff oops I got caps I can't say we grab this uh, we grab this we grab this and let's just say we grab some I don't know some pistons as an example and you place down I don't know these uh, you can see you can see it a lot easier you can see the um, the redstone a lot easier and a lot of people use this I don't know why I actually couldn't tell you guys why they use it they just like it um, but I'm not a redstoner, so I wouldn't really know why people like it, this preset as a redstone ready. But hey, if you wanted to mess around with redstone, you could fully go and do that. Um, it's up to you. You guys maybe can help me and tell me why people enjoy this so much. But yeah, the redstone ready, easy, great for creating with redstone. Um, and that's what it's known as. Alright, so the last two I want to show you guys are the ones that I created on Minecraft101.net. The first one I'm going to show you is this one, the weird and the wonderful. Now this is just known as the custom strongholds. You're gonna see it now, I changed it to it to be custom strongholds. As you can see, I changed this block to quartz, the top block to be quartz, and this is just how a layout of a mine shaft, uh, not a mine shaft, how a stronghold would look. And you can see this one over there, I increased how many, how many you can spawn in one world. Uh, but if you've ever wanted to look, like check out the whole preset of how a, um, Stronghold looks this is how you do it. It's just I it's just so weird actually looking at a stronghold like this makes me It just makes me weird and wonderfully confused of wow how confusing a mineshaft and a stronghold not a mineshaft How confusing a stronghold can be um, I believe this one goes underground as well. I, th I believe it does it does as well as you can see here It goes underground, so I just think it's a really cool. Th oh, that's a lot of mobs That's a lot of that's a lot of creepers let me through. I'm stuck. There's far too many of you mobs here. Um, but yeah, there's there's actually so many. Why is there so many mobs? I have actually no idea why. But yeah, you can see and you understand there. I'm going to let you all burn slowly. Because I'm evil. I'm causing pain upon the mobs. Alright, yeah, so this, lot, this is just the, the one I liked a lot. 
Um, but my favorite one is the next one, this one. All right, guys, so what I had to do was skip ahead because this, as you can see, is far too many mine shafts in one world. This is a custom world that I increased. Basically, what happens is on Minecraft101.net, you can create custom presets. I increased the spawn rate of a mine shaft from 0.1% to a had a very high chance of them spawning and this would lead for some great mini games. Imagine playing hide and seek in a map like this, how much fun you would have. Oh, it would be so much fun. I can't see them ever introducing something this crazy to Minecraft console because it would blow up your console. I'm, I'm telling you guys now, I have a good PC and my PC is generally struggling to load this along with shaders, uh, but I love this so much. So I wanna know which one you do prefer. Do you prefer this one, which is like the crazy mineshaft one, or do you prefer the custom stronghold one, which shows you how the structures of a stronghold would work. And as you can see, it's just crazy laggy for me. Uh, but guys, if you did enjoy this video, as always, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what your favorite preset, default preset is, and let me know what your favorite customized preset was. I'm Echo, have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.